The Secret Covenant. This was apparently written by John D. Rockefeller, like in the early 1800s. An illusion. It will be so large, so vast, it will escape their perception. Those who will see it will be thought of as insane. We will create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us. We will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive. Our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves. This will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur. We will always stand above the relative field of their experience, for we know the secrets of the absolute. We will work together always and will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so they will never see what is happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators, and sedatives in food and water, also in the air. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their minds. We will promise to find them a cure on our many fronts, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths. They will destroy their mind and reproductive systems. From this, their children will be born dead, and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them, in what they drink, eat, breathe, wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons, for they can see far. We will teach them that poisons are good, with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used on film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them it is for their help. We will start early on. When their minds are young, we will target their children with what children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill them and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will yet create yet more medicines. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will grow depressed, slow, obese, and when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus their attention toward money and material goods so they may never connect with the inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures, and games so they may be with with the oneness of it all. Part two. Secret cover. I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. Um, Their minds will belong to us and they will do as we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind-altering technology into their lives. We will establish their governments and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. We will always hide our objective but carry out our plan. They will perform the labor for us and we shall prosper from their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs. Our blood must be pure always for it is the way. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them and kindly and and gently letting them think we are guiding themselves. They are guiding themselves. Uh, We will foment animosity between them through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule or death, whichever suits us best. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. They will blind, the hate will blind them totally and never shall they see that from the conflicts which we emerge as their rulers. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this for they will not see us for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. We shall repeat this over and over and over until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger through images and sounds. We will use all the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by their labor. 
We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them that we are all one. This they must never know. Wow. They must never know that color is an illusion. They must always think that they are not equal. Drop by drop by drop by drop, we will advance in our goal. We will take over their land, resources, and wealth to exercise total control over them. We will deceive them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom that they will have. We will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in debt. We will, when they shall band together, we shall accuse them of crimes of present and different story to the world and present a different story for the, to the world for we shall own all the media. The recruits will be called initiates and we and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. Wow. Members of these groups will think they are one with us, never knowing the truth. Okay, part three. Uh, it's almost done. We will call the recruit. We will recruit some of their own to carry out our plans. We will promise them eternal life, but eternal life they will never have, for they are not of us. The recruits will be called initiates and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of passage to higher realms. Members of these groups will think they are one with us, never knowing the truth. They must never learn the truth, for they will turn against us. For their work, they will be rewarded with earthly things and great titles, but never will they become immortal and join us. Never will they receive the travel, the light, and travel, and stars. They will never reach the higher realms, for killing of their own kind will prevent passage to the realm of enlightenment. This they will never know. Until you do. Mm. Amazing. For the truth will be hidden. The truth will be in their face. The truth will be hidden in their face so close they will not be able to focus on it until it's too late. Oh yes, so grand the illusion of freedom will be that they will never know they are our slaves. When all is in place, the reality we will have created for them will own them. This reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of domination will begin. Their minds will be bound by their beliefs. The beliefs we have established from time immoral, immemorial. But if they ever find out that they are our equal, we shall perish then. This they must never know. If they ever find out together that they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never ever find out what we have done, for if they do, we shall have no place to run. For it will be easy to see who we are once the veil has fallen. Our actions will have been revealed, and we are, and they will hunt us down. For who we are, and they will hunt us down, and no person shall give us shelter. This is the secret covenant by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives, for this reality will transcend many generations of lifespans. This covenant is sealed by blood their blood as they, I'm not going to quote that we the ones who from heaven to earth came this covenant must never ever be known to exist it must never ever be written or spoken of for it is the for if it is the consciousness it will spawn will release the fury of the prime creator upon us and we shall be cast into the depths from whence we came and remain there until the end of time of infinity itself Shalom, Makim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world inevitably calls God, and Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world inevitably calls Jesus Christ, and there is no God beside them. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And this lesson is going to be entitled Esau upon made queen going into how this world is something like a chess game 
all right, in Esau, which was at one point the lowest, even the scriptures say, call him the lowest among the heathen in the book of Obadiah, all right, he's the lowest morally, a demon in the flesh, all right, um, Obadiah, Chapter 1, uh, Obadiah, verse 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. All right? Insignificant. The Most High made this man insignificant. All right? Of the least might amongst the heathen. Whereas the heathen are always, are, as the scriptures say, the heathen are reputed as nothing. Isaiah 40 and 15. So Esau, actually the scriptures say they repute as less than nothing. All right. So Esau is less than, <laughs> less than them. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that the wallops in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high. That saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. All right. As we just heard the video of them saying, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Not knowing that it was Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai that put it in their minds to do that. That's why as the lady was reading, I was showing you brothers Deuteronomy 28 and Leviticus 26. All right. Which was written out before this devil, you know, even had a mindset to do so. Okay. Way before the 1800s. Right. Way before the 1800s, thousands of years before that. And as you as you read in scripture, it says the Lord will do this. The Lord will do that because of our iniquities. All right. So though this devil exalt himself as the eagle. All right. The eagle flies high, flies the high. It was, uh, if I'm mistaken, the highest flying bird. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith Yahweh. Okay? Because, let me just grab that. Psalms. Chapter 75. In verse 1. To the chief musician, I'll to shift a psalm or song of of Asaph unto thee. O God, do we give thanks. Unto thee do we give thanks. For that thy name is near. Thy wondrous works declare. Okay. And the Most High brought a cave beast. Into rulership. That's a, wonder, that's a wonderful work. I always allude to the book of Daniel's. The... The second chapter, the fifth chapter. Daniel's the fifth chapter, when the Most High brought Nebuchadnezzar from among the chief of men. All right, all the way down to a lower state, to a cave beast. And this is how the Most High is going to do this devil when the time comes. All right, that's why at the end of the day, when the people do see this devil for what he is, especially the Lord's people. This devil was done away with. All right. According to Isaiah 24, like I was just showing, brothers. All right. At the end of days, after this place is nuked, uh, uh, nuked and bombed. All right. And Jacob come back in the rulership through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity in our right minds. Right. You know, well, in their right minds, because through the spirit, the Lord has blessed us right now with our right minds. You know, so. We have a ruling class mentality. However, we're still under this devil's hand. All right. But when the most high trade places. All right. Put us, which are right now pawns. All right. In the highest rulership. You know, which I don't want to call us queens. We're going to be kings. All right. But um, again, alluding to the game of chess. 
um, the queen. It says... Well, as we know, or for those who may not know, the pawn is the lowly chess piece, a piece of the lowest rank and value in chess, right? Now, chess could be applied to this life, you know, but the queen, in terms of raw power, the queen is the most powerful piece on a chessboard. Now, again, I don't want to call us queens. Okay. Hey, we're Yasharala, we're princes. Alright. And the one the most the one with the rawest power is Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shah. You know? And we're gonna be joint heirs with him after we get past this punishment. Okay. However, this devil, you know, we could call him a queen. <laughs> you know, because he's a he's a um a spoiled little brat. Okay. So, going with the title of the lesson, Esau a pawn called queen. You know, or Esau a pawn made queen. Alright, so reading on in Psalm 75. When I shall receive the congregation, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. I bear up the pillars of it, Salah. And there's going to come a time to where the Most High is going to reward us for standing so stiffly for him. As it says in, what's that, Revelations 2 or 3? Um, he that overcometh for I make him a pillar in the house of my power. Roughly paraphrasing. So the Most High is going to give us the, the, the rulership, put the power in our hands to where we, is going to judge, we are going to judge this place in righteousness. Okay, it's not going to be, um, you know, unrighteous judgment as far as adultery is concerned, unrighteous judgment as far as um, um, a murder is concerned, unrighteous judgment as far as, you know what I'm saying, a mole or a transformer going, going unscathed. It's not going to be none of that. Okay. Hey, the scriptures say the kingdom is going to be so peaceful for us that our children are going to be able to put our hand their hands in a cockatrice's mouth and in, 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 in um you know they're gonna be we, we, our children are gonna be able to play with snakes and not get bit and Isaiah was Isaiah 60 I want to say I said let me just grab that Oh, okay, Isaiah 11. And the suckling child shall play on the hole of the asps, and the weaning child shall put his hand in the cockatrice's den. All right, let me see. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of Yahweh as the waters covered the sea. Okay. So this is speaking about you know, our time of rulership. When Yahweh Shai comes back upon this earth. The earth and all the inhabitants thereof are dissolved. I bear up the pillars of it. I said unto the fools, they'll, they'll not foolishly. And to the wicked, lift not up the horn. Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. And again, I allude to the book of Daniels because in the book of Daniels, it breaks down the major kingdoms that were ruled. All right. Nebuchadnezzar had the dream of how he would rule. And then a so-called lesser uh, people would rule over him at a certain point in time, which were the, uh, the Persians, the Persians and the Medes. All right. Which at the time of Daniel, in the time of Babylon, you wouldn't you wouldn't think 
You would never think that. You know, even when you look into the history, they were uh, vassals to the um, they were vassals to the um Babylonian kingdom. So how was that these vassals became rulership over them? All right, and so on and so forth. Because uh, as, as it says, but God is a judge; He put up down one and set it up another. You know, and this is why it's so important to understand prophecy. When you understand, when you understand prophecy, all right, and the scriptures say, "Go to the way, search your fathers." It's really no, it's really no room for pride, you know. But this devil, he understands where he comes from, all right. There's, there's uh, me and Aki, and we, you know, we were together watching the fight the other night, and here it is. This devil had this commercial, of this, this, you know, stringy haired, uh, pale faced devil. Sitting beside a dog, you know, and whatever he would do, the dog would do. He would scratch his head, the dog would scratch his head. He would turn his head uh tilted, the dog would do the same thing. There's other commercials, um, I think it's one of those um insurance commercials, something like that, to where it says, um, so easy a caveman can do it. So this devil is boasting, you know, in his position as if he gave himself that. The scriptures say, um, and what's that, Revelation 20? That he will go down for a thousand years and he should be loose for a little season. You know? Again, to a people that were at one point thought lesser than him, to so called black men, which they don't like to tell you, but that thousand period, that thousand year rulership, what this devil calls the medieval times, the dark ages were Israelites, were so-called black men, okay? Hey, when you look up, um, let me see, I think I got it queued up, actually. Yep, it's called the Black Kings and Royalties of Russia, you know? And mind you, this was after this devil actually... Um, you know, came out of um them caves, you know, which was around what thirteen, fourteen hundreds, and you still had Jake ruling over there in Russia in the fifteen, sixteen hundreds, you know, Mozart, um, who's a uh, guy named Bach, you know, guys that this devil would listen to in his prestigious parties. However, he don't understand that they're Israelites, you know, making such pristine music. You know, ruling well into the 17, 1800s, man. You know, Jake, nobility. There's a guy I um I sometimes watch. His 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 name is uh Dr. Renoko Rashidi, and he travels the world. And you know, sometimes he gives like um. You know, he'll do like uh, presentations on the different findings, his different findings. And he's always showing you, um, I think he even has a book called uh, African Presence in Early Asia. You know, I know the brother out there, in, um, the other brother out there in, um, I actually got it from that brother, the other brother Barack out there in, in California. He does, you know, from time to time, he goes into the history. And he had did a lesson on, how you had Jake, you know what I'm saying? Ancient samurais back, you know, back in, in was it the, I can't remember the time period, but you had ancient, you know, Jake, you know what I'm saying, ruling shit back then, man. All right. So it says, for, for promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. For in the hand of Yahweh, there is a cup. And the wine is red. <coughs> and he pours out of the same, but the dregs thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall wring them out and drink them. Okay. So don't get too proud, devil, thinking that you got away because you did it. Okay. At the end of the day, you're going to drink. You know, our people played the wicked. As far as going away from the law, statutes, commandments, 
and he put under us the basis of men, the most wicked. All right. He gave us hey, he, you know, he put us under the chopping block, so to speak. Now, hey, and there's going to come a day to where the scriptures say, I shall make thee a sharp threshing instrument having teeth, you know, and all the wicked, all those that do wickedly is going to have to uh, bow down to us. Revelations 13 and, and, and 9 and 10. Those that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. Those that kill with the sword must be killed with the sword. You know, hey, every time, yeah, everybody has to play that, you know, at a certain point in time, even Yahweh's only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying, had to play uh, the low. But when he's coming back, the scriptures say he should not meet thee as a man. You know, all those that pierced him, he shall pierce. You know, so you got your, you know what I'm saying? You, you do you, and when it comes time, Yes, leave. We're gonna get our lick back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off. And the word horns goes into the strength of the wicked. Okay? As a matter of fact, right now, what's happening is that you got top nuclear scientists, they're quitting. You know, because they choose not to get down. Because they choose not to get down with this uh this max you know this Maxine situation. All the horns of the wicked also will I cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Okay, so the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. This will this is what's going to happen at the end of the day. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 10, verse 12. Wherefore, it shall come to pass that when the Lord hath performed his whole work, okay, which is getting the elect ready for the marriage, and at the same time destroying two-thirds for, for their rebellion, Okay. Wherefore it shall come to pass that when Yahweh hath performed his whole work upon Mount Sinai and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the stout heart. All right. So after the Most High finished putting a foot in our ass, guess what? Esau is going to have to drink of that cup. What does that say in Lamentations four and twenty-two? All right. Thy punishment is accomplished, O Israel. Now it's time for me to look at you. All right. Look at your works. All right. Lamentations 4 and 20. 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Eden, of Edom, that the wealth in the lands of Uz, the cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. All right, we ran through the curses. You know, or they say the curses ran through us. It says, He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Okay, so the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to get at you. Back at Isaiah chapter 10 verse 13, for he saith by the strength of my hand, I have done it and by my wisdom, for I am prudent and I have removed the bounds of the people and have robbed their treasures and I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man and my hand have found as a nest the riches of the people, you know, but really, you know what I'm saying, you learn, you learn what you have from us. You learn how to hunt from us, man. As a matter of fact, Cristobal Colon, he knew about the new world through us. You know, one of his sources was Ezra's. He knew that it was gold, it was Israel. He knew, he knew about all of that through us. So the axe boasts itself against him that heweth therewith. 
You know, because again, when you go into the scenario of a chess game, you know, the game being this world, guess what? A pawn doesn't move anywhere without somebody picking it up and moving it there. You know? Or shall the saw magnify itself against him that shaketh it? If the rod should shake itself against them that lift it up, or as if the staff should lift up itself as if it were no wood. So destruction is coming to this devil, man. You know, and it's rightly so. And how about Shimi Hawashai? Um, is about finish finish punishing us. As a brother out there in the Bahamas, he saw an angel, and angel said, Look, you know, we about to come to save the righteous. And thought as I watched the brother, I was thinking of the scripture, our salvation is nearer than when we believe. Alright, so that was all I had on that. With that, Shalom.